Hello YouTube, once again, You're the Dragon, part of my switching to lighter gear. Today we'll be talking about sleep systems. Um, I haven't had too many different variations on my sleep system, although I've kind of changed things out here and there, but just kind of a basic breakdown of how I've kind of gone over time. Uh, first one I had was, um, we we're doing like one of my first backpacking trips, so we we're kind of going cost effective as well as just kind of getting what was available. So my first one was this high tech elevation. I think it's a 25 degree bag. Let me double check. Yeah, I think it's the high tech elevation 25. Um, it's heavy, weighs uh, about five pounds. It's relatively bulky. The stuff sack it came with is not necessarily the greatest of quality, um, but it did get the job done. Uh, it didn't get too cold in it. Uh, it's a good starter bag. I think I paid like 20, 25 bucks for it. So the cost was definitely in a good price range. But yeah, it was just bulky, heavy, um, took up a lot of space in my backpack, so uh, I think I only use this for uh, one backpacking trip, and now I just kind of let friends use these, or I've actually given one of them away. This one's actually my wife's, he gave mine to a friend of mine who was getting into backpacking as a good starter bag for him. Uh, but with this, I was using uh, REI 1.5 self-inflating sleeping pad. It was a good sleeping pad, um, just... Uh, it was reasonably priced, a little heavy. I think it weighed like 32 or 34 ounces, so it's just over two pounds. Uh, but it was a reasonable system to start out with, for sure. Uh, moving on, uh, later, as I did end up getting cold at times, um, I upgraded to the REI Mojave 15 degree bag. Excellent bag, I used it for about four years. Um, it's a mummy style bag, so it's definitely warm enough. In fact, uh, when I went back east, uh, this was too warm by far. I, I actually had to wake up several times and not to towel myself off because I was just sweating profusely in it. Um, but it's been a good bag. It served me well. It's relatively compact. It actually goes smaller than the stuff bag allows, but it, this bag kind of fit in the backpack I was using at the time, so it worked out well. And then as a sleeping pad, I use this. It's a Big Agnes insulated air core. Uh, weighs 27 ounces. It's uh, it's relatively. I mean, I've been going with relatively comfortable pads. I believe this was a uh, two and a half inch thick pad, so definitely gave a little bit of comfort. Um, and in cold and snowy conditions, it worked really well. Uh, but it is a little bit weighty. Not actually that bulky because it's completely self-inflating. Um, still use the sleeping pad during winter. The sleeping bag. Um, Actually, to be honest, I haven't really used it often since I've upgraded, so we'll kind of go on to what I'm using now. This is my Enlightened Equipment Revelation X quilt. It's a 20 degree quilt. This was actually my first piece of like small scale cottage equipment makers, custom manufacturers, and they definitely set the bar. This is a truly, truly fantastic sleep quilt. Um, I switched to a quilt style because the mummy bags I found to be a little bit constrictive and then when it got hot, um, they didn't have a ton of variability. This thing is awesome. Um, weighs 27 ounces, is extremely comfortable. Uh, they don't, their baffles have a little bit of spacing in between them so if it's warm nights you can kind of push the down to the outsides, but on colder nights you can kind of push it all to the center. Uh, it's compact. The, the bag they give you is actually a little bit bigger than necessary. Um, I usually use the Granite Gear Small Stuff Sack, uh, the compression bag, to use it. Um, but I have definitely, I have found no reason to be dissatisfied with this bag. I've used it alone during a vision quest without uh, any insulation underneath. But I've also used it on summer outings. So the versatility of this bag is just incredible. Um, very comfortable, I can spread it out so I can, I mean, I sleep on my side, on my back, so I kind of shift around a lot. But I cannot say enough good things about this bag or the manufacturers I had to light and equip it. Um, they rushed it out to me. Um, I was able to get orange on the inside, so I also have kind of a extra, a little bit of signaling so I can have a bright orange, uh, rather large signal if I ever have trouble. But excellent bag. If you guys have an opportunity and are looking for a camp quilt, I recommend light equipment quilts for that because they're just phenomenal. From every experience I've had with it, it's been great. Um, the sleeping pad I currently use is the Thermarest Neo Air. It's two and a half inches thick. Our value of, I believe, like 2.5 or 2.8. Uh, really comfortable. Um, actually, this was not the lightest sleeping pad I own. 
Um, for a while, I was using the Climate Inertia X frame. Uh, so I think that's a one and a half inch, and I only weighed like 10 ounces. But it wasn't comfortable when I was sleeping on my side very much. Uh, so I decided to kind of, I returned that one and put just this one instead. This one was uh, more expensive, but for me, comfort during sleep is really important. It'll allow me to hike for the next day without having my points or anything like that. So I traded the weight. This one weighs about 16 ounces, just under 17, I believe, with the little patch kit that it comes with. Um, and I have been very happy with this so far. I've had zero trouble with it. Um, hasn't deflated at all in the evening. So this one's definitely been a great sleeping pad. And if you're a back sleeper, I would probably still uh, recommend the Climate Inertia X-Ring because it works really well. But if you're a side sleeper, you toss around a lot, or like me, you're over 6'2", or you're 6'2", or larger, you probably uh, might not do as well with the Climate because either your feet will hang off the edge, or if you try to fit on it, your points will fall in one of the holes that they use to kind of save space that you can loft in. Plus with the sleeping quilt, um, the holes in the inertia aren't as effective because you don't have that underbag to kind of loft through to provide extra heat and warmth. So currently, my favorite is the Thermarest Neo Air with the enlightened equipment. Um, I'll occasionally let friends borrow this. <clears throat> I may or may not continue to use this myself. The Big I guess I'll probably still use during winter. Um, but since the R value on this one uh, is a little bit higher, I may use it for winter, but if not, I'll use the Neo Air with some other really thin pad if necessary. Uh, I really won't know that until this winter, so I'll make that decision when it comes up. So yeah, um, as time has uh, progressed, I've gotten both smaller and lighter with it. And I definitely say that uh, camp quilts, if you are side sleepers or if you like to vent out if you get hot at night, is a great option. Um, so yeah, there we go. Uh, this would be my sleep system, how it's kind of gone light over time. So once again, this is You're the Dragon. Uh, questions and comments are always appreciated. And I thank you for watching. Have a great day.